Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's obviously most crucially integral to the fabric of our very nature. Today we talk about touring dildo factories or just like hairy men fetishes. We're looking at the autopsy. He died way before that. I remember the Pegasus so well. Roll on this. I'm going to barf. Here we go. And we're back. What up, y'all? Let's go. So Chloe's been gone for a few days. She's, uh, you know, visiting her family. And I, uh... I'm left to my own devices. Nice. Mm, and we know what that I, means. We know what that means. Your iPad and your iPhone, all the devices. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I uh, I almost died the other night. What like, happened? I, what I happened? swear. Uh, what oh happened God. this time? Oh, God. I, uh, <laughs> Let's <laughs> unpack this. I don't know this. when, I, don't know when uh-huh. I, I turned it on. It must have been like the day that she left uh, the stove and... And I had it on for like legit almost three days, like two and a half like days. The burner or like the oven? The the gas. Like yeah. it was all the way to the simmer, so you couldn't even see the flame. Oh. So it was just on. And I have it's cold. So uh I have all the windows shut yeah. and my heater's hot, 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 hot. So I'm sure. just kind of running my fireplace. So I'm running the fireplace, have the gas oh, going. Fuck. Uh, and then I turn the gas uh, the fireplace off because I'm smelling like Rotten eggs. Good oh, job. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Who farted? And <laughs> the cause of diarrhea. And I, it, it was like several days of me going like something stinks. And I'm like, I'm like taking showers, going like, do I stink like shit? Yeah. Do, am I like just putrid smelling? Did I fart? Did I seep? Yeah. Am I seeping? Am I seeping? <laughs> old and man so, seep? Yeah. And I'm like looking through, like I Uh-oh. check underneath the the cu- the 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 cushions on the couch and everything, thinking like. Did I? Because uh, also, I'm ki- I've been a kind of a mess this weekend. I also puked this weekend, and my yeah. eye exploded. Yeah, you look insane. I look insane. <laughs> why? Why did you puke? Why did you puke? I drank too much. And well, then this drank- is what happens. Did I do that? This is what happens when the chick leaves. No, I I, I had some people over. Uh, there's a bo- boat parade down here. Yeah, so yeah. Like, okay. I had some people over. We all sat outside. We drank. Everybody left, and then my one buddy Jeff was like. Yeah, I'll tater. sit around and drink with you for uh you guys know him as Tater Salad. He's a big fan of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, uh, Tater. He, he'll hear this. What tater, up, salad tater Salad, shout was, out. Uh, was kicking it and he was like, Yo, I'll drink with you for a few hours. And I'm Hell like, okay. Yeah, you will. And so then I just ended up pounding like eight accents, just like schlop lamb. And we know that three gets you drunk. I'm still gonna send it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> three, three lights my ass up. Damn. So, uh, hey, can you can you shotgun fucking Ashwins? No, I just you could shotgun quick. anything if you put your mind to it. Yeah, you could shotgun anything. Yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Tight. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, I guess that's true. Yeah. That's the only way Cal's gonna come back to drinking is if he could shotgun. Fuck yeah, bro. That shit is yeah. tight. Anyways, you were saying. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. So anyways, I came back and I was like, uh, you know, I was too, it wasn't that I puked. It was, I was too <laughs> full to go to sleep. You know that feeling when you're sure. like, when you're drunk and you're just like, I'm sure. going to explode. I have yeah. too much liquid within yeah. me. And so I, I, I made myself <laughs> puke. Of and then the next oh, day I wake sure. up <laughs> and my <laughs> eye is insane looking. Like yeah. it popped a blood vessel just because I was yakking so hard. Oh, you think that's what it was? <laughs> yeah, I do. Because it was the next day that it was like this. I've been playing that it's my fitness, but I know it's, I just didn't want to tell the internet that it was, you know, just, I'm, right. uh, I'm just puking by myself. You were, you were gagging so hard that you popped a blood vessel in your eye. I love that shit. And the tongue <laughs> is like all the way out. <laughs> so, so then the next day I wake up and my whole house reeks of, of like rotten eggs and my like, can puke somewhere? And so right. for like a full day and a half, I'm going like, I must have puked. I'm like some puke got somewhere that I don't know or it got on my clothes and I brought it somewhere. So I'm checking every inch of my house until I realize like I go to like microwave something and I'm like am close to the stove and it's like hot to the touch. And I'm oh like, God, why dude. is it so hot? And then I realized I've had the gas on for like two and a half days. Just You should have died. Dude. Just leaking out. And I'm smoking weed inside. The Chloe's gone. I'm smoking weed in the house. Hell yeah. My boy. I'm like, I'm having a good time. I'm delighting the fireplace. 
I'm like a fireplace. I'm like personifying the gas <laughs> for every time you're like lighting a joint and like it gets near you and Dude, then like you put it out real quick because you got to go and it's like, oh, we could have just exploded the house. You, you know, know what? what I think it, I, I think what saves me is I always smoke, even when Chloe's gone, I still... What saves you is Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe is your angel, brother. Yeah, dude. You can't be alone. I think even when Chloe's gone, I think uh, I still... I don't love the smell of stale weed smoke in my house. Okay. So I always have a door open and I'm, and I'm at least near the door. When Chloe's here, I'm outside. But uh. when Chloe's not here, I'm at least door open but, and I'm standing But you the had door. the... You had right. the fire on. You definitely had the fire on inside. I definitely had oh, the fire on. Which is fire. Which is straight up fire. Yeah, I don't know how flames. I didn't. I don't know how I didn't. Explode. Your house could have exploded. I know, dude. It was some Final Destination shit. There's like, like, you know, it was like exactly. There's like 20 different ways I would think you were going to die, Adam. But I mm -hmm. didn't know you were going to be like the homie who just falls asleep with a cigarette in his hand and lights right. his house on fire. That is right. wild. Uh, well, it wouldn't have been cigarette. Give it 20 years. <laughs> Can you imagine I, the autopsy if you were, if you <laughs> fell asleep, vomited, choked on your vomit and died, and then your house exploded? Whoa. <laughs> They'd be like, he obviously died from the explosion. And then somebody's got to be like, actually? And then they're like, wait a minute. He was super drunk <laughs> off of three actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at the autopsy. He died way before that. It wasn't, well, it it wasn't the Ashton's fault too. I also was mixing, I also, there's always a, uh, there's always a point in the night when, I, when it turns where it's like, Mm -hmm. You no longer taste alcohol, and you're just <laughs> right, like, right. you're like, hey, you know what this Ashland needs hey. is because your tongue just gets worked over. <laughs> Wait, you lost, yeah. you lost your sense, of, <laughs> you lost your sense of taste, bro. That's COVID. I you can't have COVID. smell or taste oh. anything, and I'm running a fever. What's happening? <laughs> and Anyways. I'm gonna go visit my. <laughs> and your eye exploded. <laughs> See you at the airport. <laughs> and uh, fuck no, and and so I was pouring, I was mixing vodka in the Ashland, and that that's what sends you over. Dude. And I had about six of those right right before going to sleep, and that was well, yeah. So it wasn't that you were full; it's that you just put a bunch of vodka in your body and yeah. to puke it out. And also the amount of liquid <laughs> that it is like correct. You're full of poison. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're full of my boy. I was full because I don't know. You guys haven't seen my midsection right now, but it's tight as fuck. Right I now. feel like and we've so, seen it online. <laughs> I feel so, like you're like, posting it. It's fully extent. No, I'm never showing the torso. I'm always covering the <laughs> okay. torso. So then it's probably not that tight. Yeah, it's a lot of pec shots. It's a lot of pec shots. I'll be honest. Uh, it's tight for me. It's tight for me. Normally, it's like pretty flabby. Uh, it's pretty tight for me. I but, do think you took six shots of vodka very quickly and then put poison in your body and your body's like, no, no. no. <laughs> No, but yeah. I made myself yeah. puke, and so right. I didn't. Well, yeah, yeah, you're smart. You know that when it's bad. Yeah, I know that I gotta, I gotta get it out. Yeah, if I'm gonna go to bed. Well, you're a control freak, and you weren't gonna let your body take control of you. You said, "I got this. I'm gonna be yeah. it to it." I'm, yeah, I'm showing him who's boss. Still gonna send it. I'm an out of control control freak, babe. Let's go. Out of control I'm control freak. I like that. <laughs> that so I, previously, we would talk. We talked about like how many lives you think you have left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's two. Dumb. Yeah, you spent two. You you skipped two there, bud. Oh, I skipped two just just from puking from being drunk. That's a life that that's, you're taking away. That's how <laughs> people die that way. I I know, but I mean, within within we all would have been fully the fire thing. Toasty. Okay, then then the fire. Okay, then the fire. Yeah. The just, fire yeah, thing not, is by absolutely. By the way, I'm not arguing weird. that the times I puked in my sleep that I couldn't have died. <laughs> I didn't puke in my sleep. There's no puking in my sleep. I was fully awake when I puked. Well, yeah, but that's because you. <laughs> if you would have passed out, you no would have I mean. puked in your sleep. That's was good on you. So you actually avoided a near death experience by puking. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's one. It is one. It is one though for the house exploding. It's one. It's the gas thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was. It was Man, my angel I'm, Chloe I'm, whispering to me. It's definitely leaving the gas on and. Did you guys did you guys know this that gas doesn't smell they add methane to it so oh, you do smell it Wow I did not know that that's very smart Oh be oh believe me I did yeah. a lot of I I also that night that I like actually figured it out uh I was I was on a lot of edibles so um Hell it was yeah. the next night where I'm like you know what I'm I'm going to not uh drink tonight you know last yeah. night kind of went but I am going to eat a lot of edibles. So now I'm like freaking out, just like smelling my house, smelling underneath things. 
and, and like looking up like uh, natural gases and but then also farts. <laughs> right, right. Right. That's what, De- what a Google farts right before you die. Yeah. <laughs> Fart smell. <laughs> so now I, I actually learned that. I didn't know because I was like, I thought it was uh, yeah. burnt I toast. <laughs> Damn. And also I'm putting my carbon monoxide uh, detector. I'm like putting it like. <laughs> You're holding it around like a cell phone trying to get bars. I'm like holding it around the house. I was walking it around the house, like trying to pick up a gas leak. That's so tight. You just, by the way, taking it off the wall, like turned it off. Like, yeah, I, I know how to do this. Damn. No, it, it wouldn't. Huh? It wouldn't. No, it's a. Uh, it's. I it's know, still. That was just a, a joke. I yeah. just I was oh, teasing. You were hot. Yeah, I got a battery operated one too. I know yeah. the battery operated one just in case yeah. doomsday yeah, hits. I want to be able to detect shit. Yeah. Just hold yeah, it and detect it. Zombies and shit. Yeah. If there's like <laughs> so an earthquake or whatever, I need to know. I want to put that shit <laughs> on my fucking body. But my eye, my eye does look absolutely insane. Can, yeah. Here, check that out. Yeah, check dude. You're out. killing it. Happy New Year. You're bringing in the New Year. Oh, wow, bro. That's Are you sure that's not like a. Um, is Dennis Quaid in your eye? Are you sure it's not an inner space situation? Whoa. Great movie. Uh, that's a. Dang, I I hope that's you're there's not, something you're not cool sure. happening there. I'm not positive. I don't know. Is this a is this a backdoor uh, podcast to movie <laughs> that's happening right now? Are we setting the table? Oh, this is my sideways pitch where it's like, oh yeah, it's my eye. It must have been from when I got really drunk last night. Slash why Dennis Quaid is up in my slash injected. Why don't we do our version of Inner Space? We would kill it. That movie would be funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah I agree. That'd be dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I call, I call Dennis Quaid. Quaid. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm in. Let's do it. Right. I'm let's in. Do it. Okay, let's do it. Hey, Universal Netflix. or whoever, WB. Yeah. Anybody? Freaking Orion. Anybody? Yeah. Orion. <laughs> Orion. What was your guys' favorite movie title card from back in the day? Like Touchstone, Orion, what? TriStar Pictures. TriStar was sick, dude. TriStar was the Pegasus. With the horse? With the Pegasus that came out right before... Um, what was it? Like Labyrinth or something? Let's see. Rambo First Blood Part 2. No, the the only one that comes to mind, who was the one in, at the beginning of Ninja Turtles, the like blue and black? That's New Line. Oh, that's my shit. Yeah, I want new. the New Line shirt, please. That's New Line. Was New Line was hard. New Line, that I saw in the drive-in and was like, what? Is that? Did they make this? Like, that's fucking cool. And I thought they made... I want to say... Only uh, Turtles. I, th- I think... <laughs> did you just say Dark out. Crystal? I think that was... Was that not Lucasfilms or like Henson Pictures or whatever? Uh, yeah, I'm a... just trying to... I remember the Pegasus so well from TriStar, but I don't remember what flicks it was on. Do, 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 do. Hello, you guys. You're forgetting the, the master of it all. The lion, dude. MGM. Yeah. I don't have any like specific like what just be, um, Wizard of Oz. Isn't there something? There's Ernest? something weird with the role <laughs> of the lion too. Like it's Whoa. not actually. It's like a bear or something. It's not actually a lion. No, no, it's a real lion. It's Look, uh, they, yeah. they had that. There's something interesting about it. Yeah, it's a lion. That's what's interesting as fuck about it, dude. It's cool as hell. It's probably not like dubbed up. It's probably like a lion from later. Wait, which one goes? Bum, 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 yeah. bum, 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 That's bum, universal. Bum, 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 bum. No, it's a no. There's like a, a the the famous lion that they recorded doing it. Bum, bum, okay. Bum, yeah. Because bum, bum, bum. they, ha- I've seen that picture on Twitter or whatever, and I've actually met the grandchildren of that lion outside Las Vegas <laughs> a few months ago. They got a huh. real real sad situation <laughs> of a zoo there where there's a bunch of lions in cages, and they. Uh, they claim that it's descendants from the MGM uh, lion because they would drag them out to that casino. Oh, wait, so you Tusty. got inspired by Lion King or a uh, lion Tiger, uh, King? Tiger King that you took your family to a Tiger King like place outside of Vegas? No, I did barefoot. I just ran out there. Um, there you go. On a bender. Uh, we, it was a whole fucking thing that nobody at home cares about. But we <laughs> were trying to go to Mammoth to get a house, and then there was a huge fire. And so we couldn't stay there. So then we were like, well, why don't we drive to Utah? Well, why don't we cry about it? And uh, <laughs> and we were don't like, no, me. let's not go to Utah. But then it was so late that we were like, we can't drive all the way back to L.A. So we crashed in Vegas for one <laughs> night at the mm-hmm. Encore. It was crazy seeing people gambling uh, with masks and shit. And then the next day on the way out of town, we hit up this little insane petting zoo that had like 
40 lions and one giraffe. And it was super sad. That is terrible. Poor thing. I love that. And aren't you the guy that hates? <laughs> you're the guy thanks. that hates zoos. If I remember from our podcast correctly, aren't you the one that was like, "We got to get rid of all these zoos, or should not?" Yeah, be? I think it, I was fresh off of watching these lions go <laughs> like, "Help me! They're milking me Wait, for sperm and making more." These are the lions of. This is in Prim. You said this is in Prim or what? No, no, this is like, oh, this is right near the Amazon, like, warehouse outside the city. Oh, Bro, what, what about Prim, though? Yeah. Prim. I, I, oh, I, we stopped in Prim at the mall to charge up the Tesla. Oh, for sure. And my homie Roger Gassman, I go in there. My homie Roger Gassman is just like our <laughs> manager Roger guy. Right? <laughs> no. right? I love first and last name, Roger Gassman. Well, I'm, just, I'm giving him a shout out. Gassman. Uh, he's the dude who did all the, like, um, be on the streets, all that stuff. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh, entrenched in the street art game. And Ooh. I go in this mall to be Hip-hop. like, there's a Nike outlet. I might have some some come-ups. Let's go. And there's these huge murals that I'm like, these are kind of legit. And I'm like, uh, I went to high school with the person who painted just like that. That's fucking weird. And then I got around the corner and saw his name on it. And I'm like, what is happening? These are all people that are on Rogers, like uh, his his hit list or whatever. And then I texted him. I'm like, why at a mall in the middle of Prim, Las Vegas, is there like an off the chain art installation thing? And he was like, some Australian dudes who like own the mall hit him up and said, we want to turn this into something cool. Dude, Prim, Prim's up next. If people don't know, Prim. Uh, for sure. Oh, no doubt. Oh, yeah. A- Austin is over. <laughs> Prim is popping. Prim is this weird ass little town right before Las Vegas that has a roller coaster and it's just kind of trying to be Las Vegas, but nobody. But definitely. Yeah, it's it's if you're driving from. It only has like, what, two casinos or something? Like it's just like. Is there a terribles there? If you're driving from, there is a terribles there. Is there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. If you're yeah, driving yeah. from, uh, from LA to Vegas, there's a little town just like what an hour outside of Vegas or maybe less. Yeah, right over. Is it right over the border into into Nevada? Right into Nevada, right over the border, and this little town called Prim that is just like three or four casinos a it's pretty shitty but it's it's also just like for the guys that just cannot wait to get to vegas they yeah. have to gamble <laughs> right now and they're just like you know what fuck it we're stopping here for a few hours to get the fix and if it's your and first the- time you think it's vegas at first you do oh. i thought it was the first time i saw it you're like oh, we're here it's oh it's amazing yeah if you like <laughs> if you like old vegas you're gonna love prim <laughs> All right, Prim's your shit. Prim is prime. No, we man. should do a whole ad campaign for them. Let, hey, Board of Tourism, Prim. <laughs> Prim. Shout us a yeah. holler. We got you. Didn't we always want to make a workaholics episode where the dudes went to Prim and thought they were in Vegas? Yeah, we thought they were in Vegas the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I lost my so ass sick. in Prim, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been good. Yeah, Everyone would've. goes to, like, France or somewhere on their, like, cool. Where'd you guys go for uh, Modern Family, Adam? Australia? Uh, I didn't go, no. But they went, right? There was like one of those episodes. They went. They Yeah, they went to Australia, I believe. Damn. Yeah. Unreal. We wa- we just wanted to go to Prim. Workaholics just- goes to Prim. Comedy Central was like, I don't no. think you no. know. Do that. Just a fantastic name to that- Prim. Sounds mm-hmm. great. That's where the Workaholics movie will take place, in Prim. That's great. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. No so I found the... I found this. We all just become prostitutes in Prim. <laughs> yes, dude. Is that where the is that where the Bunny Ranch is? Is it there? Is it in Prim? Ooh. Or is it actually outside of Vegas? No, it's out. It's like out on some freeway, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think it's in like an actual city. So in case they es- they escape, he can track them down. Yeah, I don't. I don't know exactly where it is, but. <laughs> I don't know exactly where it is, but off Highway 42. I don't yeah. have a map of the state tattooed on my back with a star where it is. But a... That would uh, be so tight. <laughs> what's that tattoo of? This is Nevada? Uh, what's the star? That's the Bunny Ranch. Did that guy die? The Bunny yeah. Ranch guy. He Legend. did. He did. Dan. What was it Dave? Do we want to tell our story? <laughs> What story? I don't wait, know. Yeah, what's the story? Wait, yeah, when wait. we went to go do, um, it wasn't Howard Stern, but we were doing Sirius XM at the Howard Stern like studios and all that, mm. and we were eating lunch afterwards and beforehand oh, downstairs at that like fancy corporate restaurant. 
Is and oh, homie walks in that's right. with a bevy. We all turn because our manager goes. A bevy means look like a few <laughs> a, women. A few women. women. A bevy of women. And uh, I thought it was a beverage. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant a beverage. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Oh, <laughs> I, see, I had to clarify. I, he probably had both. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> With a flock, <laughs> this dude walks in like he owns the place, and we all turn. And he gives us like a nod and a finger gun, like it's me. <laughs> yeah, it is. And of course, me. we were the most impression. Like, of, we're the people who want to see that. That oh, is. dude, elbowing each other. I have. I'm gonna post this video when this launches. I have a video that I recorded from a Bunny Ranch episode where they're like having fun and games. Well, it's the episode is Cat House for people that cat don't house. know that are listening. Yes, 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 Cat House. Cat House on yes. HBO. It's legendary. Yeah, let's explain it a little bit because people are like, wait a second. It was like a reality show. It's a reality show Ranch. about a, Yo. a whorehouse in Nevada yeah. called the Cat House. Or it's called the Bunny called the Bunny Ranch? It's the Bunny Ranch. But Look, the Cat House called the Bunny Ranch, but the but the name of the show is Cat House and took place at the Bunny Ranch. And uh it, it, for what I, I think it must have came out like when we were like 18 years old or something. We were like oh, very yeah. impressionable young men yes. going like, oh, my God. On the heels of real real sex, which was yeah. kind of like getting yes. less oh. and less sexy. And this was just more of a reality show. This looks incredible. Well, yeah. real sex when it first came out when when we were uh, when we were kids, I remember real sex was like, oh, my God, like we're seeing some naked women. Hell yeah. And we were in like middle school, so it was exciting. We, we are. We are. <laughs> and But then at the end, it's like, uh, it was just no, like uh, tour, touring dildo factories <laughs> or just like hairy men. Uh, or f- furries. Yeah. It was more like sex education. Fetishes. Yeah, fetish education. Yeah, it was just like, oh, I don't want to, I'm, I'm still new to the whole sex world. I just want to see breasts. I don't necessarily need to see like grown men with that enjoy uh Wearing pig noses. Real sex raised me. Dude. You would boo your TV. You go, boo. <laughs> well, you always, you could flip down on the channel guide and be like, real sex? Fucking yes. Okay, what's that? <laughs> and then yeah. it never was like. That shit raised me, dude. Something that could no. really get <laughs> but, you going. But I have a video that I recorded <laughs> off of watching my TV where like they were having fun at the ranch. So it's not fully sad for this TV show, right? Oh, yeah. It was awesome. And they're like running down the hall when you hear like the thing. And who's the fastest? <laughs> And this one girl hoofs it. She's at cat moving house. at yeah. Cat House uh, when they like ring the bell and you're supposed to like mm-hmm. come present. Mm-hmm. And they're doing a fun like, who can get there the fastest? <laughs> she hoofs it down the hallway, mock speed, stumbles in her stilettos, and just pile drives each oh. shit into a wall oh. head first. Oh, God. You got to post that on the Instagram because that clip is money. Oh, it is brutal. Dude, I wonder how many times an ambulance has to go out to that fucking place. Oh, oh they're there. Right? All the time, right? Like, yeah. uh, like that was where Lamar Odom... Where dudes are just breaking dicks. Like, OD'd and was OD'ing on, like, uh, I, you know, allegedly. Allegedly, on yeah. Tons well, for, of uh, dick pills and yeah, but for sure, or whatever. Yes. For sure, that's where you go for your last ride. Like, old dudes go there to die fucking. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're hoping for a heart attack <laughs> yeah. during climax. That's also where... Um, just take the card. <laughs> like, I'm coming! <laughs> Yeah, I'm coming. I'm going. <laughs> That's also where Andy Kaufman went uh, back in the day. He yeah. used to go there and blow all of his taxi money because yep. I love Andy Kaufman. I just think he's the the most interesting person. Yeah, he is. He he uh, would go there and blow all of his taxi money just on hookers, and he would get the entire cat house. He would just like go in and, and be like, uh, "I pay for everyone." And just spend his entire... And then not fuck them, just wrestle them and, yeah, and like, j- insult them. Is that something he would... Would he... I think he would have sex with them also, but... Would he do that as Andy Kaufman? Again, this is... The ripping and again, the tearing. I was taking liberties with jokes. Uh, I was making something up. Uh, <laughs> would he do that as Andy Kaufman or Tony Clifton? Do you know if he was, like, in his Tony Clifton vibe when he would go to the cat house? Or would he do that as Andy Kaufman? I believe it was both. I think he would do both. I think he would, like... Like, he would visit them as both characters? He would yeah. Reblaze as a different character. All right, I'll see you guys in a couple months. And then he would just come back in 10 minutes later, like, I need pussy. Yeah. Give me pussy and a steak. Oh, uh, you're back? I don't know what you mean. I just fucked you. Why are you talking to me like that? 
this is how I talk to people. <laughs> I'm Tony this Clifton. Because I'm Tony Clifton. That's why. <laughs> okay. I ripping in the tarot. You, bro. <laughs> Your prosthetic is falling we, off. We, there's no way you can fuck. We yeah, there's, fucked. Um, there's pillows underneath your t-shirt. Yeah, your mustache is falling off. What yeah. do you mean? Like, it's insane. really me, Tony Clifton. <laughs> you have the same weird dick. Dude, that guy. Damn. That guy, no. His dick is not prosthetic at all. <laughs> right. Yeah, at least throw a fake dick on, bro. <laughs> well, you have the exact same dick. Huh? You still got oh. that scimitar dick, bro. <laughs> scimitar. Oh, man. For people at home who don't know what that is, that is a... a Old fashioned pirate sword, a curved blade. <laughs> it's a curved blade. Uh, do you guys curved remember blade. when we were, when Workaholics had just <laughs> premiered and it wasn't actually out yet? We just premiered it at the um, Trump the, roast. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was the first time on TV. <laughs> it was before we were in Miami and it was for like the South Beach Comedy Festival. And right. we showed it to like a room of 400 college kids. <laughs> They and loved it. it was awesome and they loved it. <laughs> it and we, did well, if, if I recall. It, yeah, it did really well. And we were like, holy shit, I think people are actually going to like the show. And we partied like we had just won the NBA finals. We like <laughs> went out that night. We're like, yeah. And it was like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. And we're on, in, in South Beach somewhere. And it's our first time there. And we're just like partying our fucking faces off. And I remember we were at some like karaoke place but in like a nice hotel ba bar oh yeah oh boy Is this and, the I remember, <laughs> and i i can't remember exactly yeah. where we were but uh, some girl comes up to me and she's like a babe dude <laughs> and she's just like chopping me up and i'm like i must just be throwing out like mad confident aura because the show just premiered and it right. did so great and i'm like i just must be like star on the rise throwing it out right now and she's like do you want to come back to my room? It's uh, I have a hotel room right next door. Yeah, I'm like, uh, yeah, I do. But then I was thinking, uh, I was like, oh, I'm so fucked up right now. Like I'm like, <laughs> act I'm like really drunk. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to have sex with this girl. And so I'm like, you know what? I gotta go splash some water in my face to uh, to gear to gear up for this situation. So I'm yeah. like, hang on a second, babe. Actually, I'm sure it's like, so bad. and I go <laughs> into the. Uh, the bathroom. I gotta go puke all this poison out of my. <laughs> I'm gonna go make myself <laughs> go boot and rally, baby. I gotta go make myself puke real quick. Exactly, Kyle. <laughs> and so I splashed some water in my face. I was like, "All right, you can do this." And I go back out, and then I see her chopping up some other just like dumpy dude, just uh, <laughs> just chopping him up. And he was like, "Yeah," and he like touches her lower back and like walks away with her. And then I see she has a scorpion tattoo on her thigh, and I'm like, Hello. "Oh, I think." Uh, I think she was a prostitute, and I just mm -hmm. am too drunk and too uh, naive to no notice that. <laughs> Remember the part two of that? <laughs> What's the part is, two? Wait a minute. Is that there was this one, just the star of the show that night. That's right. He was probably five foot four, a yep. hundred pounds, mm -hmm. and he was probably <laughs> like 18 in a day or 20. Young dude. And he was just full-on sexuality dancing in the middle of this entire karaoke bar. I remember this. Miami's different, dude. And he was looking everybody directly in the eyes. And Miami's different. Also got arrested for being a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> is that the night? We're like, who is this guy? He's killing it. Cat house. Did we stand on stage and like play fucking bongos and shit that night? And like, yes. like hella late? Like we were jamming. I did Tina Turner's We Don't Need Another Hero. Uh, wow. I want to say Isaac did like some some eighties punk. Isaac's our manager. Our manager, yeah. <laughs> I just remember like commandeering the drums. I'm glad that we have Durs here to remember uh, all the details late at night because uh, it. Oh, for sure. It it got fuzzy for me. I can't remember nothing. It gets a it gets a little blurry for me. I mean, Miami's the best. It's so I, underrated. Miami's psycho. I remember we went to uh, and then we went back to the hotel. And we're like all going in our rooms, but we're like right next to each other. And there's balconies outside and it's overlooking the ocean. But it's like a horseshoe shaped uh, hotel. Yeah. And we were on the the middle part of the horseshoe. And all of a sudden, Durst goes, holy shit, dudes. He's like That's yelling out of the balcony. And he's, yeah. like, he's like, he's like, he's like, I think you guys want to come out here. And we all come out on our individual balconies and look out. And there's just some guy with all the lights on in his hotel room 
just having a full blown threesome, just uh, just going for it as the yeah. sun was coming up, and we're like, yeah, it was late. It was like the sun was coming up, and we were like, Hello. hey guys, I guess this is our lives now. We made it. Yeah, I guess we've made it. Watching people fuck, watching we're people kind fuck. of part of orgies now. Yeah, uh, this is stardom. Watching people fuck from a uh, football field away. Hey yeah. guys, this is. Uh, this is our lives now. <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, really? Yeah, that was like, it was like 4.30 to 5 in the morning. We watched that happen as the sun went up. Yeah. Oh, and just uh, memories. That was Lame. cool because that was like the first time we all had our own hotel rooms. Before that, <laughs> we were like sharing. Yeah, yeah. we were oh, like yeah. a traveling circus. A two-bedroom suite. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I would sleep in sleep in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who got the beds <laughs> and how. Probably Durs and Adam got the beds. We oh well do we want to tell that story? <laughs> What's that story? We're telling it's story time. Okay, so before this is a deep one. This is gonna be a hot up story time. <laughs> is this like Comic Con story time? No, no. This is before. This is before everything when we were doing a National Lampoon. Oh, I know where you're going with this tour. Oh, I'm not in the hotel. Oh yeah, <laughs> and we were all in a hotel room together, <laughs> and came back from. The club. No. Oh, the recording is somewhere. We, I was not there. I have the recording, but I'm not. Kyle has a recording. This is so tight. Just if you're imagining, I'm at our house. Yes, Kyle's back in L.A. Miss, missing us recording albums that you've heard. Yeah. We are in. Yeah, he's recording lonely al- albums about aliens and shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what was going on. Yeah, we're on tour in. Is this Chicago? This yeah, happens, yeah. right? And we get some deep dish well, pizza because I was like, we got to get it. We go out for <laughs> drinking. Wait, where were we performing though? Waukegan? Where were we? we were, no. No, 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 that was the... No, we're the Zanies. <laughs> we were performing at the Zanies in Vernon Hills. Zanies, Vernon Hills. Shout out Vernon Hills. And we swapped out a city name in our sketch for Waukegan and played pretty good if I remember. Got it. Got a laugh every time. Uh, so we get back from to the hotel from the bars. <laughs> slammered. And there's pizza <laughs> and Toasty. Blake and Adam are fighting about like whose arms are bigger or something. Yes, and it was, it I have the getting, biggest arms and lemmings. I have the biggest <laughs> arms and lemmings. It started getting real. It, and then somebody was probably the realest argument we've ever yes. been in. And I'm just like, <laughs> well, it's me- the thing is, is it's not an argument. It's measurable. <laughs> it's not like it, it was about something else because you claimed a bed and he was like, that's my bed. And then you threw his stuff onto another bed. He threw pizza in my ass. Not, not yet. Not yet. yet. <laughs> not yet. He, I thought he puked in the limo and lied about it. <laughs> no, I didn't, puke in the, I didn't lie about it. It was oh. in front of everybody. I did puke. I didn't, okay. wasn't lying. Because you ate hella, there was like Chinese food, <laughs> continental dinner at but the hotel. Here, let's it was start not, at the beginning. We gotta, we gotta ask All Jillian. Right. There is no beginning. Jillian was there. We gotta ask her at some That's point. That's true. We, we start at the, so we <laughs> went out, uh, and this was the night before the show. We got in, um, our director, Jay Leggett, RIP, he was R. the R. man, he, he passed away. Uh, he got us a limo and he's like, I'm going to take you guys out on the town, show you Chicago. And we're like, oh, hell yeah. So we get in the limo. Uh, with this, right before the limo, the hotel we were staying at had all you can eat free Bud Light. Like, yes. <laughs> all you could drink <laughs> Bud Light. And, and <laughs> wontons or something. And all you could eat uh, egg rolls. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm poor. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I was we're like, crushing we're, it. Broke as I was like fuck. 20. 21 years old. Dude, I didn't go on the trip. I didn't go on the trip because they were going to pay me $75 for like six days worth of work. And I'm like, no. Oh, dude, it was a whole scam. I I don't want to get into that again. Right. Yeah. Well, it was uh, worth it because it was great stories. Oh, yeah. It was insane. uh, But so I had no money. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to eat all the egg rolls I can handle now. Build we were a base. all crushing them. Yeah, build a base so I don't have to eat dinner later. This is smart, so I don't have to pay for dinner. Right, yeah, you're saving money. And so I ate like 15 egg rolls or something and was just chugging the Bud Light. And that didn't go well in the guts. We get in the limo and I yacked all over. Wait, wait, I, w- I want to say, I wanna say that they also that. like... Uh, they're like, okay, hey, it's 6 p.m. The Bud Light and egg rolls are over. And then they just like, they like put it, they like close doors on like a cabinet <laughs> to a keg. 
<laughs> and we were like, okay, we'll stop. And then for another hour, we just opened the cabinet and kept drinking and getting hammered. And then, yes, we were hammered by when we got into that limo going out for the night. Yeah. So and you're then, in the limo topped out with fucking egg rolls and Bud Light. Oh, tummy yeah. full yeah. of egg rolls. That's it. How many people in the limo? There's like nine or ten of you, right? Oh, there was like, yeah, there's like, we're packed. We're packed in. And yeah. I remember I I yacked in the limo and uh, in like the beginning of the night. And, <laughs> oh. and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And we're like, oh, geez. And the guy's all pissed at me. But we yeah. ha- oh, had him for the night. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. That's and right. he's like, oh, fuck. And we get to the place. And everyone's kind of salty at me that I puked in the limo. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> but then we I rallied. And we continued. And we go out for the full night. Yeah. Yes. This is yes. another one of your lives, by the way. <laughs> No, I, I thought- vomited from alcohol poisoning, <laughs> rallied, kept drinking. Isn't that what happened? Yes. That's what yeah. I'm saying. One of another one of your lives. <laughs> Not a lie. Lives. Oh, lives. I thought you said lies. No, no lies here. This is all truth, baby. No, 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 dude. No, zero lies. It's another one of your lies, Adam. Adam, I'm, I am. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm telling it how I remember it. <laughs> this is honest Abe over here, man. Come on. L-I-V-E. <laughs> and and so then we go out and then we had a great night. We, I remember awesome there's like fun photos of that night and we all look really sloppy. There's f- really funny photos of Blake looking uh, like just a, 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 a spicy 55-year-old divorcee. Uh, <laughs> who uh, had one too many margaritas. I definitely had my pants off in the limo on the way home. That's for uh-huh. damn sure. So, yeah. So when did the turmoil begin? So on the way home, you take your pants off? What's, what's up? <laughs> they're, they're fighting about something that was in the arms, and then it got into who's got the biggest arms. And uh, it, it, I, I, This is what I think it was. I think Adam, like, collapsed kind of onto what it was Blake's bed. Tom. And so then he was like, get off. And he goes, here, throw your stuff. And he threw his stuff onto the other oh, bed, which right. is just not, that's not kosher. You don't do that. <laughs> and, but everyone's drunk. And then Blake was just like, no, put it back. And you're like, no, I'm already sleeping here. And then who threw pizza into whose butt? <laughs> well, Blake- somebody took a piece of pizza and then just like <laughs> threw it into somebody's butt. What actually happened was Blake <laughs> fell onto my bed. Wasn't it because he was sagging and you... Th- and Blake moved. I think he moved my shit onto the other bed. And he's like, I right. get this bed. And I'm like, I already called that bed. Not and then he had his pants hanging off. Uh, right. And I go, well, does, if you're yeah. going to lay on what I claimed is my bed, I'm going to throw this leftover deep dish pizza <laughs> in your asshole. His right. ass was hanging out. He, yeah. he had his entire ass just up in the... I'm like, come on, man. What do you, why is your whole fucking ass hanging out? I sag. <laughs> you did used to get like pull your pants like dangerously down when you were drunk. You loved they're like still, they're down right now. I bet stand up, stand up. I still do. <laughs> oh, he's pulling, you're we're we're see the you're pulling it up. You're pulling it up. Nope. Oh, see? Yeah. Uh, see all the way yeah. down. Look at That's that. A... His whole asshole is hanging out of his pants right Yo, now. Dog, I'm from the Crazy. bay, dude. We sag, bro. We sag. Oh yeah. No one. No one anywhere else sags. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's I guess true, that's though. only a Bay Area thing. The fuck out of me. Anyway, so I threw deep dish pizza directly into uh, Blake's asshole, and here's the tape. Yo, you got to hear that. Yeah, I, I see you things every week. Hanging out. 
I'll stop. I'll wear pants all the time. Okay, please do. Okay, you got it, dude. Motherfucker, don't jump in the camera with your ass hanging out when Kyle's taking a fucking laptop picture. Don't do it, because I don't like your asshole. It's too white. It's too fucking got too much poop in it, you. You got it, bro. And we're back. And And, we're back. So what had happened was they were arguing. I'm laying on the cot because I think I just called the cot. And I call Kyle to be like, yo, these dudes are going at it. He didn't pick up. It went to voicemail. (laughs) So I just kind of held my BlackBerry up for the voicemail to record it all. Kyle got it. And then he set it to like sad piano music. So Uh, kudos to Kyle for setting the uh, tone on that one. It's so unreal. It was the best thing to wake up to. Uh, Because it's uh, like, there's no more butts. There's no more butts in mail order comedy. uh, Fine. And it's so serious. Fine. We won't joke about it. No more poop jokes. (laughs) That's right. Yeah. There's too much poop coming out. It was a lot. Dude, there was a lot stacking up, man. That's when we were all broke. Come on, dude. Yeah. there was a lot coming out. Yeah. Well, yeah. National Lampoon was really, really taking advantage of us, man. They oh, were, yeah. bro. It's crazy. Yeah. I like tried to strike and everyone was like, no. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. That was wild, dude. They really I, got a lot for nothing out of us. But they, uh, I'm going to get into this for a second. I do remember like all of us got together, all the actors and writers of oh. this, this, this sketch tour that it was going to be got together because for like, the national lampoon lemmings they right. were so lemmings was a big thing in the 70s allegedly i'm trying to be like kind of not super specific because i don't <laughs> <Yeah>. know <laughs> who, who i'm shitting on here well you can find it there's sick ass photos of us and yeah. like lemmings 2.0 yeah. fucking rocked bro <laughs> oh we're gonna post that we're and so that. i remember we all got together to like powwow with all of us it was us and then uh, eight other people maybe and we were, I'm like, I think maybe if we get paid $800 a week, that'd be pretty good. And everyone's like, are you kidding me? That's peanuts. We should be getting $2,000 a week. And I was like, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, that'd be yeah. sick. And then I think really we sick. dialed it back to the $1,400 was the the least we would take. And then everyone's like, cool. We all <laughs> ate pizza and we went to the office the next week to rehearse. And he goes, okay, so everyone's going to get $650. <laughs> A week, and I go. We're not going to do that. And everyone goes. That sounds awesome. Let's do this. <laughs> everybody <laughs> folded. And everybody folded, and I was like, I I became the biggest dick, which I know you guys think I am, but I was like, I no, we're not going to do this. And somebody pulled me aside, and he goes, Look, man, from the beginning well, of cavemen painting on caves, <laughs> artists have been getting screwed over like this. And I was just like, Okay, we can stop that. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, by the way, so that wasn't 
any of us that that pulled you off to the side. That's a, another person. No, no, no. This is another another. I was on Funny my own. Dude. I was on my own separate contract because I just right. made all the videos, so I just negotiated for myself. It was equally oh, as shitty, man. <laughs> and oh, I folded God. equally as much. <laughs> I was like, it. and then I said, "No, I won't do it," right. hoping yeah. that everyone would be like, "Yeah, well, Durs is holding out." We all look up to Durs. <laughs> no one did. gave a fuck. No I got did. phone call after phone call from people being like. Will you just do it? Like everyone wants to do this. If you're not there, and I'm like, I go, okay. If, if this is what we're doing, we're doing it. And Dude. now we have the story. Thank God. Yeah. Thank, well, uh, thank the Lord. Thank why the did Lord. we do that? I, it did suck, and we weren't paid anything. I but I wasn't making much more than that, just working my shitty job anyway. So I was like, I'd rather be doing comedy. But some people were making more. And would have had to quit their jobs. Those people and they were, like, were stupid. Yeah. They were <laughs> like, I guess I'm doing it. Exactly. For sure. What was the rehearsals like for you guys? What were you guys? Was it, the, it was, I remember. A, Free dollars. I remember a whole summer Pizza. where it seemed like we worked every fucking day. Oh, yeah. We like, did. Was it yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah, it yes. was. It was fucking crazy. And remember those Pizza Fridays for like the first three weeks? And then those stopped? That dried that was up. like. And then they had Go Girl. They had Go Girl energy drink that was like oh, all bro. you could drink. And <laughs> some kind of eye drops. Like I, we had the weirdest like perks where it's like you guys got Go Girl energy drink and these uh, eye drops. All the all the gum you can <laughs> handle. And yes, uh, it was energy gum. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. All the energy gum you can handle. Go Girl energy drinks. And uh, if you guys need any Visine. Talk to Debbie out of county and then she'll, <laughs> <laughs> she'll squirt then the, you up. It ruined my relationship with Jay, which I always felt salty about because he was he the man thought that he thought I wasn't feeling like um a uh, team player or something. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm the most team player. I'm good. player. <laughs> Much player. love though. I feel like that was like the last the last breath the National Lampoon like banner took oh i was like where are you going with this dude <laughs> no 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 national lampoon dark because jay's not alive anymore i know i know but i and r.i.p i thought you were gonna be like i hate hunters <laughs> but, yeah Channel national Doom. lampoon's last breath that was the last breath of national lampoon and because they were they'll they'll be back yeah. you think so aren't they done oh they're they're like a cockroach, man. They'll be back. Natty Lamp? They're going to rebrand as Natty Lamp and like <laughs> get like some like <laughs> National Lampoon Instagram. Re revamp. Yeah. They, Natty Lamp. I yeah. like they really that. played off of the original <laughs> Lemmings, though. Like, I mean, Nat Lampo. The original Lemmings had so much success. And I think that was the only carrot that kept us all in the game was like, well, look at what they did back then. Like, look right. at that was like Christopher Guest, Chevy. And explain what the Lemmings was to everyone. Because uh, it's hella long ago. It was like a sketch troupe in the late 60s, early 70s that had John late Belushi. 70s, yeah. Late 70s? Yeah. Late John 70s. Belushi, Christopher Guest, Chevy Chase. Actually, not late Bill 70s. Murray. 73. 73. 73. Like Bill Murray and shit was in that. Bill Murray, Gilda Radner. It was like the... Was it pre-SNL? Do you know? It launched uh, John Belushi, Christopher Guest, Chevy yeah. Chase. Heavy hitters. Uh, yeah. And we of... were Lemmings 2.0. Yes. Right. And that's right. what they were calling us. <laughs> so equally heavy. Yeah. Well, looking back, I mean, come on. Us, J <laughs> Jillian, let's go. <laughs> come on. Well, yeah. Look at, looking back, <laughs> Jillian. <laughs> Hey, whatever. Jillian we, did it. <laughs> yeah. We ate our money's worth of egg rolls, so it's all good. I feel like we when really we got paid that one time after the summer, it was not a lot. Blake, you and I took the trip to uh, Grand Canyon for energy drinks. That's right. Dude, to dude. can we talk about your energy drink collection? I would love to. I would love to. These guys had a collection that you wouldn't believe. It was the I best mean, every like energy drink hundreds ever of different cans and different brands of energy drinks oh, yeah. at the height of energy drinks. And oh, yeah. none of them better than Monster Energy. <laughs> I feel I feel we've uh, well that was the like, the staple that is like you guys had we, cocaine we had we had cocaine with be, before it got banned we had like Steven Seagal yeah. energy Hulk Hogan energy uh, Jimmy Mouth of the South energy yeah. uh, do you remember my it. pitch because I told you guys to like document it and I was like here's what you should do line them all up <laughs> and then just kind of like coast the camera past it and then like somewhere in the middle just have someone's nuts hanging between <laughs> oh, yeah. two cans. And then just keep going for like four more minutes. That would have been dope. I want to say there's actually a what 
I want to say there's like an online museum of energy drinks because it would be cool to check out. I'm sure that would spark some nostalgia for me. The energy boom was insane. That was when every inner every ingredient had a fucking cross by it because we yeah. had no idea what it meant. It yeah. was like we were just putting mm. shit into this to this uh, and liquid. Like, this will get them uh, excited. <laughs> yeah, I like that the cross is the symbol they put near that because it's like we don't know what it is so you just have to have faith is that what that means there it is oh i guess that so. might be maybe yeah they pull on the christianity roots there we what go. sucks Oof. is i feel if the energy boom was happening right now i think that we would have our own energy drink oh, yeah. or at least be called talking boy to someone <laughs> yeah called uh pot sauce <laughs> Pod sauce. <laughs> it's called the pod sauce. Slid down the pod sauce. <laughs> and then you guys just threw it away. I came over one day and saw trash bags. And you guys were like, we're done. We moved on. Well, we, it was like we we spent a lot of time working on that and setting it up. And we put remember we put like little gum and stuck it to the wall and shit. And yeah, every yeah, night yeah. it would be like ting. They, Ting, ting, ting. Right, because it, it was like the crown molding of your apart of your house. <clears throat> yes, yeah. they, it moved with us. Mm -hmm. It did. We had to move the collection, and then, and then I think Workaholics started, and then didn't put it back up. We had to take it down for Workaholics because we couldn't clear all the energy drinks. So I think the art department put it in bags mm -hmm. in the back, and then basically it was like, well, well, then we were like, should uh, we wait, recycle this shit? <laughs> I don't recall that mattering for the for the pre pilot for the one we shot before everything. I think it's up in the pre pilot. I, mm. I have a feeling there's parts of it up. I thought you guys just chucked it. Oh, so we moved to the workaholics house with the energy drinks. I couldn't yes. remember. I thought we threw them away on the on that move at Packard. No, we had no. them. We, we built shelves at Packard, and it was fucking so nice. Yeah, yeah. Right. it was, was awesome. It was gorgeous. Gorgeous. It was gorgeous. It was stunning. <laughs> it was stunning artwork. Yeah, and then we brought. <laughs> yeah, it was. The best. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and then we brought it over to the Hamlin house and we brought the shelves, but yeah, we never baby. put the shelves up. We just like tried a new method. It was oh, like yeah. using mm. like double stick tape and just sticking the cans directly well, to the wall. And it was terrifying because you would be like home alone or whatever. And then all of a sudden, like a can would pop off and just fall <laughs> oh, on the ground. Oh, and, shit. Like, right. like, like, and it sounded like, like, for sure, someone's in the house, and you're like, oh. yeah. right. Every night, you'd wake up to like twenty of them on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, well, this oh, sucks. Cool. Would just you guys rinse them out, or would you just slam it and can it up? So then, like, the whole house kind of had this aroma. I feel yeah. like we, we, uh, I don't remember any rinsing. I don't remember. <laughs> rinsing I, oh, Kyle's like, <laughs> you think I rinsed them? I remember looking at the tops, and they would, it would have like that brown syrup on it, and you'd mm. be like, oh, damn. Mm. That shit got I love and then you guys are like, and somehow we started getting rats. <laughs> and they would just pop out of nowhere. Brown Those sword. rats were getting that little last drop in the lip, the top of the can that's there, that little last. Oh, we used to call that friends. Yeah, oh, you yeah. Got those that's friends. Right. Uh, the rats at that house were fucking huge. Do you remember that rat that we caught? They were on energy drinks. Yeah, that we caught in the... Dude, that's what happened. We did the fucking... We made mutagen. We made uh -huh. mutagen X. You guys had killed a bunch of splinters. <laughs> uh, do you remember we caught that one rat that we got, like, that one giant rat trap? And then it was, like, from head to tail, it was, like, two feet and some change. It was, like, fucking huge. That's I've, a possum. I feel like... Yeah, dude, that, <laughs> that was, that was a chupacabra. <laughs> you had a possum living under your bed. <laughs> that was a chupacabra, bro. That's where that came from. Oh, my God. That is, right? Yeah, it's definitely. Can I from say... I, I watched uh, uh, a buddy of mine. He was like, dude, I just watched um, the Acid Trip episode of Workaholics. It's so funny. And I'm like, oh, I haven't watched season three in so long because normally oh, yeah. if i'm gonna go back and watch work all episodes i'll just watch a, an episode from season one just because that's when we started work all and it's the most nostalgic for me mm -hmm. and so i went back and i watched uh the ass trip episode and then it went into like uh the chupacabra <laughs> and uh true romance oh and, damn uh, that Those one, are some heaters. fucking good episodes, dude. Uh, Fun, uh, it was the funniest show on TV for a while. <laughs> it was yeah, the it funniest was. show on TV for sure. Without there we go. Yeah, I got without a doubt. I'm I got dragons now. <laughs> hey, is it too, yeah? Is it too late? Whenever this is going to air, to talk about your favorite Christmas gift 
you ever got as a kid? Yeah, it's a new year right now, bro. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay, let's talk about favorite New Year's you almost died on. I never, I don't, I don't get any uh, good gifts. <laughs> Shut down. Uh, I say we frick, we freaking skip it. Know what I mean? <laughs> Shut Guess it down. <laughs> Shut it the fuck down. Shut Gifts as kids? Fuck. Nah, I never really liked it. Uh, I'm uh-huh. really trying. I I do know. I think <laughs> I remember fuck. my favorite Christmas gift was a fucking pop it gun, is- dude. And what is a pop gun? <laughs> like an ice cube pop gun? Like a fucking pop gun? Like one of the ones with the Shut cork, up. and you just go like. Oh, what? Yes. bro! What are you fucking? I I got one of those. Yeah, are... I fucking loved that thing yeah, when I got it. What are you, Little House on the Prairie? What the fuck? But did you ever own a? <laughs> yeah, did you ever own a BB gun? Did you just like kick in a can? What the fuck are you talking about? Man? You had a court gun. Yeah. He would beat a, a hula hoop with a stick down the street. <laughs> yeah. All right. I didn't realize uh, Kyle was a, a for, was a child in 1952. I'll never forget the year I got jacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just fucking popped into my head like pop gun. You know, I loved it. <laughs> That's so cool. Did you get the little doll where you push the bottom of the platform and it collapses and you let go and it stands up? I love those mechanical toys, man. They're I, uh, fucking cool. <laughs> mine was probably BB guns. I was uh, I had a, a quite the arsenal of BB guns. I had like we're talking Red Rider. What are we talking? I had Red Rider. I had a pellet gun. I had, that was like, I had, and then I had sniper rifles on all of them. And then I had uh, a couple of pistols, a couple scopes? of handguns. What do you mean sniper rifles on all of them? You had scopes? Uh, sniper, uh, sorry, scopes, scopes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you ever yeah. get a paintball gun? Did any of you dudes ever paintball? Oh, fuck yeah. I did. I had a paintball gun. Paintballing is. I had a paintball gun for a while. It, uh. It was just hard to get enough people to go paintballing. Like I oh, had man. the gear and then so I'm not just going to go by myself paintballing. So we, I was like, we got to do I was that. Like I need to get a little squad. Every year we did a thing every year. I can't remember if it was freshmen and juniors versus sophomores and seniors or freshmen, sophomores versus junior seniors. But it was kind of like homies of homies who kind of knew somebody on like a sports team that was older. We would get together with like eight on eight or 10 on 10. And it would fucking go down. Man, I don't even know. For paintball, yeah. That's that's a squad. Yeah. yeah. Paintball is so fun. I could I don't even know if I'd survive now. It, it's dude, so scary. It is yeah. so scary. <laughs> like you are running on high. I feel like for my 29th birthday, we all went. Yeah. Didn't we right. go? That's the I last think, time I went. Yeah, we did. Oh. I think that was the last time I Durst had the best thing. Durst had a fuck <laughs> you remember this shit? Dude, he had a fanny pack with a motherfucking Italian sandwich in his in it. In it. it was half eaten. Yeah, you'd smell him before he shot you. Yeah, he said, if you smell the Italian sandwich, you're already dead. I was eating a Subway spicy Italian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, because I hadn't eaten all day. And we were like getting ready to jam out. And I was like, well, I'm not going to eat a 12-inch sandwich and then run around. So I ate half of it and stuffed the other in my Arcteryx fanny pack. It's also, could you just like put it in your car or something? Why do you have to carry it with? No, because I was like there. We were like lighting candles and saying happy birthday or some shit. So I stuffed it in a fanny pack. And he was like, what are you just going to carry that? Like you're saying? I go, that's right, bitch. You're going to smell. Right before you die, you're going to smell the spicy Italian. If you smell spicy Italian... You're, oh, already you're already dead. dead. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. It was so clean, so good. I'll never forget it, man. Damn. That shit was hella fun. Paintballing rocks. That was fun. It hurts so bad so that, like, you are legit running for your life. Oh, yes. Man, I had a paintball hit me in the back, knock the fucking wind out of me. Like, I went down. I went yeah, down. Yeah, I, uh... I, we used to do it, we never did it, uh, like, in high school, we never did it in, like, proper paintballing places. We mm-hmm. would go out to the middle of the country and... Just and, target? And, uh, <laughs> and do it, Parking like, in, in the cornfields. Right. Like, uh, with, like, there was a cornfield that surrounded an abandoned a farmhouse. Mm-hmm. So then, and then there was, like, si- si- silos and shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, people would get fucking very hurt. Some yeah. kid uh, fell through the um, <laughs> barn. Uh, right, because he's trying to get some pimp-ass yeah. position up there. <laughs> ow, 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 exactly. ow, stop, exactly. ow, stop. He, he was, like, trying to snipe from the loft of the barn, and it's all just rotten wood. And right. just fucking, <laughs> just all, like, running around. And uh, we're like, where's Cody? And all of a sudden, you're like, crash. And he <laughs> fucking falls, like, 15 feet. Just And uh, I think he broke a rib. It was pretty fucking bad. 
I mean, you. Ow, 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 Because you, you do become commando. You do become Rambo. Like, yeah. you're running and sliding and, like, doing barrel rolls and shooting because you think that's going to help you. That's why I want to do it now. Well, you're for sure, like, doing flips over stuff because you're like, well, this will. this is the only way I'll stay alive. I want to yeah. know what my my old man paintball swag is because I don't have those moves anymore. But Oh, you're turning an ankle in 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a fucking done. sniper barrel in a great position. You need to... I don't know, though. Maybe you get out there and then, like, you just click right back in. It's like... I would, form. I would love to go. I mean, I think it. I'd love to click. <laughs> the most fun that I ever had was not on a course. It was at my cabin, like Adam saying, like out oh, without yeah. any rules. I think I went mm-hmm. for like my 13th birthday and I brought like four or five other you, people. In my, yeah, you were there? Hell yeah, you were. But remember what was super sick about it? It was fucking snowing. Yes, it was the best. And it hurt yeah. so bad. Oh, wow. Die Hard 2 style? It was so fucking cool. Oh, it was crazy. It was crazy. And the paintballs were like frozen. So that's when you get the <laughs> oh, fucking bounce. Dude, that's, that's when like shit. Dangerous. That's like real manhood <laughs> shit. Like, uh, you want to play? Well, you to come be out fair, in the snow. It's like, get your pecker hard. The, yeah, the guns, my dad was there. I get my pecker hard. The guns didn't work very well in the snow to. It, they started to freeze up. We had mm-hmm. to get our CO2. We had to bring our own CO2 up. We that bought like sick. fucking 10,000 paintballs and Damn. just went crazy up there. Dude, remember when you, a you would have one friend that would just go ham and buy so many paintballs and you're like, oh. you're yeah. yes, you're rich and not good at this. I'm going to fucking come for you. <laughs> just a garbage bag of that You'd be shit. like, you just spent $80 on paintballs? <laughs> yeah, I spent dude. 33 uh, like for like the deal that they have, right, and you like right. bought, you like went behind the counter and got like an entire box, <laughs> thirty three paintballs. They all, no, they're thirty three dollars. I don't know, <laughs> thirty three bucks. They were expensive. It was hell of expensive Dude. to get that shit. Yeah, paintballing is a is a rich man's game. That's why yeah. I think now now let's do it. We'll we'll yeah, just fucking go. load ourselves up. I feel like that's a fucking movie right there. Or what, what you, we can get fucking paintball bazookas. Uh, and shit. There's like ex, there's like paintball grenades that we can people buy. People are using like flash bombs too, right? Let's spend some money, dude. Yes, yes. You could you could have grenades and flash bombs and you could huck it in and then fucking storm. Didn't we hear stuff going off at your birthday and we were like is somebody murdering people? <laughs> that was fuck I think that was airsoft. Like airsoft oh, has gotten oh, yeah. even crazier. Or it's like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. play in like abandoned buildings and shit. Oh, that's yeah. tight. I like yeah. that. You just accidentally shoot some homeless guy who's like just arriving back to his house. Hey, whoa, 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 man. I did not mean that. Man. Actually, can you can you stay there and just let me know? Go hoo hoo if you see somebody coming. How much you got? Here's part of an Italian sandwich. <laughs> you got it, bud. <laughs> Dude, Pizza let's go. Let's hit the right. battlefield. That would be sick. All right, Pete, let's do it. it. R.I.P. Jet Set. Let's save that for another pod <laughs> since we're uh, wrapping it up. Soon. Did somebody nah. mention something about Jet Set? Where'd that well, come I was from? Thinking, I was thinking... Uh, <laughs> he just pops in his mind, man. Well, what I happened? was thinking of that uh, episode where we did like paintball or airsoft in the oh, office. Oh, yeah. And then, right. I, and then I was just last night, I was watching uh, Workaholics and Jet Set was... Uh, <laughs> alive. Was alive <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and all over it. Just... Yeah. And, oh. Scene stealer? I mean, come on, dude. Pure gold. Scene stealer, without a doubt. What a gift. What a gift. So if you haven't seen the show, go fucking watch the show. But Yeah, why are you listening to this podcast if you haven't seen the (laughs) show? What are you doing? Because they crossed over from Taylor Swift. They were like, who? What did these guys say? Wait. I kind of like oh, the one yeah. with the hair. Wait, all the Tay-Tay fans were like, wait a <laughs> second. I'm an arugaloid. <laughs> dude, hell yeah. Oh, man. Hey, I'm a Jet Set fucking day one or baby. That guy's the man. Jet Set was somebody we hired as a background actor who just kind of walks past in the office of Workaholics. There's mm-hmm. there's tons of these people. As an extra, yeah. He's an extra. And none of them are, like, noticeable except for Jet Set. Well, we, Jet we Set actually... Is, piled our office full of people that are weirdly <laughs> sorry like the sorry. background people are supposed to be just fading What's in the background to do? Like my right. dick all bigger? of our background people are people that you're like wait who's that guy <laughs> showstoppers like, <laughs> we really made sure that uh you're also looking in the background of every episode going i want right. to follow his story <laughs> yeah i feel like just that we had no idea who he was or what was going on we just gave him a line one day and was like try this bro his name is 
Jet Set. His name right. is Jet Set. His name is Jet Set. Yeah, we just said he's the guy. Give him a line. <laughs> Have him talk about his cactus real quick. Let's see how that works. If you see his look, his hair slick back, matted down. Like, we didn't dress this dude. That's not costume. No. That's just no. Jet Set being yeah. Jet Set. It's true. He was a born entertainer oh. who grew up loving Michael Jackson and kind of idolizing him. And you could find yep. him performing uh, at Hollywood and Highland. <laughs> And uh, uh, where else? Like Venice Beach, <laughs> passing out bootleg T-shirts. <laughs> I, I love his improv. His improv runs too. Okey when, uh, like I came in and like I dumped his. I thought it was Montez's cactus, and I throw right. the cactus into the trash. And I'm like, right. "Fuck your cactus!" And Jet Set flies up, and he's like, "Get the fuck, get the fuck up out my house!" Hey, what are you doing? He said, and it wasn't a house. It was just a cubicle. Yeah, it was just office. a cubicle. <laughs> he's like, "Get out my house!" And then he goes, "Uh." Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Or something Thank like you. that. Or he like, just had a way of fucking seeing the world <laughs> that we were lucky enough to to record. Mm. And you know who loved him? Uh, <laughs> Daniel Stern. Daniel Stern was like, this guy's solid gold. Like, you never know what he's going to say. I'm like, yeah. Well, the, I think that I, I do think yeah. that was Jet Set's biggest scene was with that because that was the episode where you guys biggest episode that was his biggest scene too like yeah, yeah. like yeah and and his speech his hair was written into the episode <laughs> as a plot point you guys right. came back in, a, in an effort of solidarity right and like we had jet sets hair <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. i gotta rewatch the fucking show man that yeah. show's funny dude <laughs> dude there's uh the jokes he definitely had his sides i will say there he had his script right <laughs> below frame for that scene with daniel stern well shit i wish i could do that sometimes <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. laughs> the uh the it's jokes per minute on workaholics were were fucking <laughs> through the roof breakneck we ran <laughs> out Breakneck's that's why speed. this isn't funny we ran out of jokes a while back yeah <laughs> Dude, we well, gave we, it our all, brother. Hey, we, when we were in the edit, I remember we would be like, it's okay if you miss some of the jokes. Dude, let's get the right. raw footage. We we got so many jokes on the cutting room. Let's recut. Let's do the Zack Snyder <laughs> cut of Workaholics. <laughs> the R-rated cut. Dude, you know I'm going to get really fucking bored one day and crack that shit open. <laughs> You got you got the archives. What do you got? I'll get them. I can get them. Still gonna get them. I'm still, still gonna, gonna get them. I'm still gonna send. Know what I mean? Well, that's uh, nice. Any... It's good to hear that you uh, that they hold up for you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I uh, I didn't know uh, if it was going to, and uh, it really, really did. And especially like I hadn't seen those specific episodes in so goddamn long. Right. That at that now I'm like maybe I just watch season three B and four. Uh, right. just to, just to catch up because those those like middle seasons I'm like I can't remember. I feel like those seasons all. are kind of like when you're really really tired at a fucking <laughs> sleepover and you're making the craziest jokes but you don't remember them. But right. in the moment it's so fucking funny. But yeah. you're trying to stay up to see the sunrise. <laughs> yeah, and you're just because we were delirious probably from like three until the end. Like <laughs> maybe maybe what was the last one we did seven? Did seven, we do seven? Yeah, we did seven seasons. Maybe seven we were conscious. <laughs> But uh, from three to six, I don't know if we were fully it. conscious of what was going on. Oh, man. I well, I, know. Every, every I was moment. awake. Yeah. I was yeah. Awake. Every moment is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> I, 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 it's a nightmare. Just want to go back. I'm just. <laughs> it was very fun. I miss it. Uh, <laughs> Those were the best days of my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing it. I love it. Damn, Damn I wish I remembered it. Well, oh. watch the episode. It'll jog some memories. There's a few where I'm like. I'm just playing. I remember it. I love those times. <laughs> remember when we were trying to fuck each other, Kyle? I don't remember at all. And then every once in a while, you'll see a scene and you will like transport back and be like, oh, I remember where I hid my sides in that scene. Right. I remember that there was, I hid my coffee cup behind that plant. I remember having to wait out in that specific hallway. I remember like certain conversations you had mm -hmm. with the other actors like right before it like uh, everything will come rushing Dude, when back. you guys came to my house and i had got the vo up and running and it was in my driveway durs was like check the door there's the last sides in there and it's like oh there they are there it is <laughs> the last scene the they're best. right there 
It's where you put them every time. I do like watching for when my mouth is still full from snacking between takes. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I'm like, dude. I come through a door just kind of chewing and like licking my teeth and going, <laughs> yeah, we got to get back for our houses. That's like when we shot that scene where we're like staking out the house eating Panda Express and we yes. refused to spit it out <laughs> between yeah. takes. So we just ended up throwing up. We just ate like <laughs> a bucket of orange chicken. I think I, I, I divined it and uh, gagged myself uh, <laughs> Please, and made myself that, throw up. Let's call that a divined it from now on. <laughs> and when we got the Gravitron. Bul- bulimia is uh, yeah. divined it. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> She's uh, dealing with divinity right now. Yeah. Fully divined. Um, got to go to the hospital. When we got the Gravitron, I was like, roll on this. I'm going to barf. <laughs> And yeah. I think your brother, Adam Nowacek, directed that episode, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. And he was like, okay, let's do it. And then after a while, people were like, I don't know yeah. if we need to see that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm like, you're okay. going to want the footy. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to want this. That'll make it on the Zack Snyder cut. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Any uh, take backs, apologies, or, uh, you know, the other one? Complimentes. Put down. <laughs> or uh, e- what was the other one? Epic Slam. Epic <laughs> Slam. <laughs> or Epic Slams. Epic Slams. Epic Slams. <laughs> I feel like we were pretty nice to each other this, I'm still this gonna set. Why? Well, then I apologize for that. Like, we, we weren't really going in. Yeah, I'm sorry f- to the fans for Happy not going new in year. on each other a little bit. Yeah, it's I'll, a new year. It's a new us. They're looking for that hot, 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 hot heat. <laughs> I'll compliment us because it doesn't happen that often. I'll compliment all four of us for just having a real uh-huh. nice time walking down memory yeah. lane. And what's, yeah. the word, and what's the word halfing, man? You fucking dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Hot, 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 hey. hot. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Hey, it doesn't you happen said, that yeah! often. <laughs> oh, it doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't happen that often. Sturz, I'd like to compliment Fuck you off. on that fucking <laughs> epic slam, dude. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. That. Fuck thank all you, you guys. <laughs> Y'all suck. I'm so smart when people don't say a word correctly. Oh, yeah. I get I gotta get them. Yeah, you do. You do flex on. And, and usually it's me. Usually I'm uh, mumble mouth in my way through something and uh, and I get epic slammed. But I'm, I'm glad it was Kyle right there at the end. You were clean today. I was curling my toes under the table just ready to pounce on you. Yeah, just waiting. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> Fuck and, you, and, asshole. And we did uh, really stroll down memory lane today. We and, did. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. New mm-hmm. year, let's look back, but from now on, let's look Ooh. forward, guys. Hey, and Blake, oh. well said. Hey, will you write that down and put <laughs> that on a shirt for the show, God. please? If you, <laughs> you could... Fucking stupid. Yeah, what was that? Can you actually... I, I'll write it down. If you could get a piece of wood and paint that, uh, yes. and my mom would like that in her house. If you could yes. paint that in cursive on a piece of wood, my mom would like say, to put that above Just one door. more time. What was it before we forget it? If you could. <laughs> what was it again? Hey, if you're uh, having- if someone at home, please rewind and then send us art based on whatever the fuck Blake just said that I yeah. already forgot. Let's look yeah. back and then also wow. remember and look forward. It was something like that, but it was better. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year's. <laughs> it's already oh, fucking man. 2021, y'all. We're in it. <laughs> Looking Damn. for it, baby. Well, I, I do want to compliment uh, Blake and Adam on, on being such good friends that the fight of their life <laughs> happened back in Chicagoland. Mm. And, and uh, here we are. We're still here. <laughs> They're We're still strong, they're baby. still homies. They got We're past tough. it. I do miss those those like you don't fight with your friends in the same way that you used to in your twenties when you had when you guys were just roommates and you're with each other all the time. There's I try. Yeah, we don't spend enough time. Yeah, we're not together enough to where you don't fly, fight like <laughs> fucking brothers like children <laughs> yeah. anymore. And yeah. I and I miss that. I'm supposed to be somewhere. I gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you feel the tension bubbling and you yeah, go. And you go I got a thing. Actually, I, I do have a somewhere to be. And you yeah. believe that other person because they might. And you right. want them to leave. Back in the day, you're like, I know you don't. I know you don't right. have anything uh, to do. No, you don't, bitch. <laughs> Where? Oh, you're going to go to the player. coin star? You went to the yeah. coin star two days ago, motherfucker. You do not have that change. <laughs> I can count that shit for you, dude. <laughs> do you remember you, how much you paid me and I'll fucking... <laughs> I'll count that change, bitch. Sit your ass, <laughs> Sit your ass down. <laughs> I'd like to compliment Blake uh, and his use of Coinstar back in the day. He used to always uh, sit there, assholes directly into the sky, counting mm-hmm. his change on the floor. 
uh, waiting for a deep dish pizza right up the <laughs> bum hole. That's what he's waiting on. Well, you know what? I'm gonna. My compliment <laughs> goes to all of us. Our friendship. It's battle tested. Still love you, bros. I love Thank you, you, dude. Fuck yeah, I love okay. you guys. It's nice to be here. Thank you so hey, much. I love you guys. <laughs> uh, Blake, I love you. Kyle, I love you. Durs, also love you. What do you have to say, Durs? Hey, things could be worse. <laughs> No one make- <laughs> so is that an I love you, Durs? I'd love to hear from you. I heard it from Blake, heard it from Kyle. I just said it. Durzy, hit us with it. He's chunking. His internet's chunking. Durzy, <laughs> hit us with it, dog. Adam, you're, you are breaking up. And hey, love is in the air. The clearest I've ever heard, Joe. What's up? Oh yeah, yeah, coming through crystal clear. Just hit us with it, dog. Girl, hey, man. Man. Let me give you a compliment on uh, how sweet you're being right now. It's been All a right. tough year, been a real rough year, you know. Maybe it's time to just come out with it. You know, yeah, you're just started, brother. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. We're in 2021. <laughs> I'll, uh, hey, you guys know it. Olive juice. Hey, oh, that's cool. Hey, keep it. Uh, you know keep, what would be cool. really important if you just uh, <laughs> said that you loved your buddies just one time? Just that. I feel like that would be important. <laughs> hey, I love my buddies, guys. This is great. <laughs> Hey, right. okay. everybody right. quit looking back. Just start looking forward. <laughs> Put it on a side. But also, uh-huh. it's good to look back and walk down memory lane, but also yeah. let's look forward. That's hey, also and guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, we got merch. <laughs> if, we got uh, merch now. Rate and subscribe. And uh, that was another oh, yeah. episode of This, this is, is Important. important. Oh, and it was. <laughs> and this is real.